Hello, and welcome to our testing of different catalytic converter anti-theft devices. We will try to cut through several of the leading options on the market. This is going to be a comparative testing review of the following products. The cat strap design, the cable cage design, the metal shield design, and the custom fabricated rebar design. Now, it's important to remember that these will all use a tabletop test setup, which is a worst case scenario for cutting. All the products we are about to show you would be more difficult to cut for a thief laying on his or her back under a vehicle. So we're here at the testing table where we have a cat strap installed on an exhaust pipe. Uh, you'll notice that there's no catalytic converter here. Not a big deal. We care more about this part right here where we've got the clamp, the collar, and the strap on the exhaust pipe. This is where a thief is going to try to cut. So I'm not going to try to use the Sawzall today. Uh, my good friend Cole here is going to come in and do the cutting for us. Now we're going to make sure that we start each of these tests with a new saw blade. We've spent about 90 seconds trying to cut through the cat strap and you can see that we've made some minimal progress. So let's, let's get back at it. Four minutes trying to cut through the cat strap and you can see here that the blade on the saw is completely dull uh, we have made some progress cutting but a thief would need to switch out that blade in order to continue making any more progress so we're going to put on a new blade and we will see how much longer it takes to actually completely cut through the cat strap And there we have it. We actually made it through the cat strap. Took longer than six minutes to make that first cut, but a thief would have to actually make two cuts. And there it is, we haven't made it through the second cut, but we're already have dulled this blade to the point where it has to be replaced in order for us to move forward with the cut. And there you have it, nearly 10 minutes and three saw blades later, a thief would finally be able to cut through that cat strap. Now, let's move on to the next products. The first setup is a cable cage design which uses steel cables to surround the converter. While a legitimate deterrent, these cable cage designs can be vulnerable for a couple of reasons as you see here. Cutting tools are effective at cutting through single cables one at a time. 
and two, the cables are fixed in place at the clamps, which creates a weak point where a thief is able to easily cut them. Routing the cables back and forth may also add extra installation time. Once the wire cables are cut and the bolt for the clamp is removed, a thief would have access now to the catalytic converter. Now the shield design is an obvious and straightforward approach. It helps visually to obscure the catalytic converter and creates a flat barrier between the thief and the converter. Again, this is a legitimate deterrent to encourage thieves to move on to a different vehicle. However, shields are made of thin wall metal which is exactly what a thief's cutting tool is designed to cut. As you see here, this aluminum shield can be cut through pretty quickly with a standard sawzall. These shields may also require a lot of hardware and fasteners to attach to the frame of your vehicle, which can add to the overall installation time depending on your vehicle type. While the metal shield is again a great deterrent, with a few cuts and some muscle, the catalytic converter is now exposed. Another common option to protect your converter is a custom fabricated cage using common metals such as rebar. Since these materials are rigid metal, they must be designed differently for each vehicle. This is typically the most expensive option since it requires welding and a lot of time spent installing by your mechanic. As you can see here, rebar does create a formidable challenge for a thief's sawzall. While it can be cut through eventually, there is a good chance the thief will find an easier target. This was the second most difficult to cut through out of the devices tested today. The rebar cage does provide some protection, but can be time consuming to install. Thank you for watching this video on testing catalytic converter protection systems, where we demonstrated the cast trap, cable cage systems, metal shields, and a custom rebar cage. Remember, your vehicle is an investment that allows you to do many things. It's important that you protect it. Whatever system that you decide to install to protect your catalytic converter, please follow the manufacturer's recommended instructions so that you are doing everything you can to protect your investment. Thank you again and have a great day.